this video I am going to talk about a trip that I took recently with one of my friend from Singapore to Malaysia. Kuala Lumpur International Airport, also known as KLIA, is Malaysia's main international airport. It is also one of the major airports in Southeast Asia. It is located approximately 45 km south of KL city centre. KLIA is the largest and the busiest airports in Malaysia. The groundbreaking ceremony for KLIA took place on 1st June 1993. After that, we stayed the night near the airport and left for Genting Highland in the bus at around 12. In approximately 1.5 hours, we were on the hills. We then arrived at the First World Hotel, which is officially the world's largest hotel in 2015. Resort World Genting has a multitude of dining options from snacks, shops to restaurants, fast foods, and cafes, you're definitely spoiled for choice in the entertainment complex. It was a full moon that night. Casinos are undoubtedly the biggest draw here, as Genting is the only licensed gambling spot in Malaysia on land. Known as the Las Vegas of Southeast Asia, Casino de Genting has several outlets with different themes that offer a typical range of gambling vices and machines. The Genting Strawberry Leisure Farm is the main center for strawberry cultivation in Genting Highlands. A sprawling farm lined with numerous stacks of strawberry plants. On a clear day, visitors can even see Genting Resort sitting on the peak from the farm. Lavender Garden is a tourist attraction within Strawberry Farm. A place where visitors can view and sniff these aromatherapeutic flowers for a small ticket fee. A large mushroom farm occupies a warehouse at Strawberry Farm, growing popular varieties of commercial mushrooms. The next day, we visited the Chin Sui Temple. It is a Taoist temple in Genting Highlands. This temple is situated in the most scenic site of Genting Highland. Within the temple is seated a statue of Qing Shui, a Buddhist monk who has been referred to as the deity in Fujian province. People say that he has the supernatural ability to summon rain and drive away evil spirits. It is located 4,600 feet above sea level and it is 5 to 10 minutes drive down from the peak of the mountain. We then took a cable car from the peak of the mountain to the bus station. The Mono Cable Gondola lift is officially opened by the 4th Prime Minister of Malaysia on 21st February 1997. Genting Skyway can carry more than 2,000 people per hour with 8 passengers per gondola. It takes appro approximately 15 minutes one way depending on the weather, the view is breathtaking. After that, we took a bus to KL Central. At night, we went to see the most popular Petrona Towers. The 88 floor towers are constructed largely of reinforced concrete with a steel and glass facade designed to res resemble motifs found in Islamic art, a reflection of Malaysia's Muslim religion. We then saw a water show behind the Twin Towers. This is the view from the rooftop of our building where we stayed all the skyscapers in Malaysia. Thank you.